chasing the cash. I just can't get enough. Can't get enough. I'm still in my bag. Watch how I run it up. Watch how I run it up. Space is straight to the moon. I had to love a love. I had to love a love. Shorty was falling in love. All in a double cup. All in a double cup. You know I be chasing the cash. It ain't no slow wind down. No slow wind down. These people all up in my business. They think they know me now. They know me now. Watch how I level up. I'm on woods at the shop with a double cup. Yep, niggas know not to fuck with us. Hey, two shot. What up, dog? I don't think they gonna like this one, bro. Shit, fuck them. Cause they already know when they hear that motherfucking. Oh, when they hear that. Uh, it ain't nothing but facts. No rap cap. <laughs> talk, talk. Talk to him, Mo. Hey, it's me and Touche. We like Snoop Dogg, Dre. Coop switch lanes and I put that on the game. Top down, screaming out, money ain't a thing. Baby like my flame, so she wanna ride my wave. When I ain't have a pot to piss, they ain't believe my dreams. Like people who I thought had love ain't really what it seemed. Hit the block, double back, clear the whole scene. Manifest, stack it up, grind by any means. Know the energy you put out, that's what you gon' get. Get in, get out, buy your block, go legit. Better have my paper, I go hard on a trick. I'm just a fly nigga and I need a fly bitch. Big going hard since 06 and guess what pussy niggas i'm still on my shit hey and all they do is hate the fuck out my face go hard and get paid nigga i've been on my grind cause i got stuff and i got some things on my mind cause i got stuff you've been going so hard That what the fuck? I be in my own world, but I be focused. I be focused. in my back when I was at my lowest. I was like trained by some niggas that I was close with. I did my research and I found out that was bogus. For tomorrow, bitch, I'm living for the moment. Get the relationships, you bitches bogus. No, 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 no. If you really let me tap my name on it. So if you ever get another nigga, I still own it. I always show love, but I never got it back though. You go front a nigga and still get stabbed in the back though. Why these niggas wanna see me lose? Used to have a hundred niggas, now it's just a few. Cause I've been on my grind.
this is a girl's perspective Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah
<laughs> Smoke Session with Squirrel, episode 61. Oh, shit. And that's, that makes it a little better. <laughs> hey, hey. It's your boy, Squirrel. Hey, man, it's your boy, R.O.B. Who we got in the building? Anaya Lachelle. That's funny. <laughs> it happened like that because I looked down and I was like, her vocals ain't going nowhere. So, oh, shit. That's funny. funny. All right, we got it, man. We so, got it. We tell got us it. a little bit about yourself. Um, I have been singing since I was about four, um, but I've been singing yeah. professionally since I was 16. Um, I'm originally from Saginaw, Michigan, and I moved here to Kalamazoo when I was 13. And I graduated from Kalamazoo Central. How old are you now? Oh, she's skipping a bunch of steps real quick. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So go back. Like, you started singing when you was four. Yeah. What, uh, what was your influence on that? Um, honestly, I don't know how I started singing, to be honest. My mom did put me in a talent show, though, when I was four, and I sang in That's that. That's crazy. And, I, I, and you don't know what's funny, though? I sang Who Can I Run To by Escape. <laughs> Four year old. Okay. Four. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Right there. I'm sick because I don't remember none of it. Though. But you know what I'm saying? Like, at four years old, yeah. your mom knew that you already had something that was a little different. Mm-hmm. Right? At four. If you can get up there. Not, not only sing the song, but remember the words to a song. At four years old, yeah, you still be able to perform yeah, in front of people and shit. That's right, tough. Yeah, that's I big business that. right there. Man. That's some Beyonce shit. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's yeah. so, so what was next after that? Yeah, four. Um, uh, well, I started dancing when I was five. Um, like, like studio, like dance studio? Yep, dancer? yep. And I ain't stopped until I graduated high school. So I've, I've always been a dancer. I was really dancing more than singing, more than anything. I didn't really That's start taking cool. singing serious until I got here. Do you think a lot of singers do that? Or you think, is that a combination? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they, well, I mean, I don't know. That's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? Because when I, but when I started dancing, I didn't think about it like to be a like pop star in the future or nothing. I just did it because I like dancing. So it wasn't a plan. You know what I'm yeah, but some people is trained. Yeah, that's what I'm start saying. Start off like that, but it's, I wasn't really. It seemed like all the fucking singers can dance. Like you can't <laughs> sing, you can't dance. You know, you know what I'm saying, for real? Yeah. Man, that's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, so, you know what I'm saying? So you started with dancing. Like, what What made it take, like, for you to take music to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is dope. I'd rather do this than dance. Well, I started writing songs when I was eight. <laughs> and, and like and Justin Bieber type shit. Yeah. <laughs> like Jackson. Hey. Right song when I was eight. No, I did though. And uh, I started like playing like instruments and stuff, like learning at least, trying to learn, but I never really, it never slept with me. Um, I was in musicals and stuff. I was in a lot of plays as a kid, so I do like to act too. What um, plays you was in? Sure. Sure. I, I was in middle school. I can say that. That was in seventh I grade. Did you just drop the actor. So I, I, I don't know if it. I seen you on Tubi or something. It was on Tubi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know if I was tweaking, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, that ain't her. That ain't. All right, that is her. That's yeah. funny as hell. What, what was that? Like, uh, I know we jumped all the way. It's ahead. okay. Nah, um, consequences. Um, it came about. So I met this dude from Detroit mm-hmm. named Eric Michael, and he just graduated from Western, and he wanted to screenwrite and stuff. So he wrote this uh, movie about his love life in college, That's and good. he asked me to be a part of it. And we was working on it from like 2019 to 2021, and we dropped it in 2021. Where, where was it shot at? Shot here? Predominantly in Detroit. I shot all my scenes here though, because I wasn't in the shot. What's the name of the movie? Consequences. It's on Tuesday, oh, man. Yeah. I seen that shit on Roll up to watch that. You ain't even got to click on it. Like you like just click on it to get the little summary and shit. It's a picture of her and that bitch. <laughs> get out of here. That's what I seen. It. That's how I knew it was right there. I was like, I thought I was tripping. Yeah, right there. That ain't her. It, it did well too. When it first dropped, it uh, it was number one on Black Cinema Cinema for like the first week. Yeah, that shit so, was crazy. Cool. That shit crazy. See, that, that was cool though. Yeah. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? But that all stems back to, like you said, you doing plays and yeah. all this shit, yeah. musicals. So, now, what do you love more, music or the dance? That's very hard. I miss dancing. I ain't danced much since I graduated from high school. But music, though. I did notice that I never stopped getting tired of music, which is why I wanted to start singing. Mm-hmm. Or t- start taking it serious, at least. Because I ain't think I ain't think I had it for a long time. I ain't really think why I did. Why is that? You I knew I could carry. I knew I could carry. Four. I knew I could carry a tune, but I didn't know if I had like every aspect that a singer needed. You know, yeah, like yeah. the performance and the confidence and self esteem and all of that stuff. I didn't think I had all of that. So at first, I wasn't trying to take it serious. I was trying to just be a dancer and be like a dance teacher or something. Okay. okay. But 
Yeah, that's how that came about. And I did originally want to be a teacher, like my mom. Your mom, oh, so your mom was a teacher? Mm-hmm. She okay. was, now she's a principal. Okay, that's a look at that. That's what's up. Yeah. So what was the first song that you did, actually, that you actually did? Um. Oh, first thing I actually did was by myself. Me and Touche had did a song called Takes Two. We wrote that together when I was 17. Oh, so that's when you was first started? Yeah, that, well, that's when I did my first song by myself. But I first started with Touche when I was 16, and we started doing hooks together, at, like, that summer. The goat, he knew it. That nigga know everything, man, when he hear music, bro. He can't, yeah. like, for real. But it, but it started off, though, because when I started going here, I went to Linden Grove my eighth grade year. And my second month at Linden Grove, I started noticing, you know, like, people Damn, started to know. Yeah, yeah, how the fuck Linden Grove? How long have been open? Well, Linden was built Matter in, like, fact, like, like, 09. Yeah, because it yeah, happened after the old. Promise. Promise is 06. Yeah. yeah it was, yeah, like, 09 or 010. Or, sorry, 10. But um, <laughs> Damn, I had started... Thing I had started uh, posting singing videos when I first started oh, moving here and stuff. He must have been to that bitch. He really... Damn, Pops, I was yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. then you just had that suit there. Um, but, sorry, anyway. Um, <laughs> I just got distracted. No, but I meant Touche, though, because... So when I first started off at Landon Grove, I had posted a video of me singing um, At Your Best by Aaliyah. Yeah, that's my girl. And um, I noticed that it got, like, a, a lot of growth on the post and stuff. A lot of people I didn't oh, know no from fun. here. It's okay. And, um... That's how I met Touche. He had inboxed me, but I was still too young. And my mom, you're like, she was like, I don't know that. You know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was too early. Um, oh, so. Sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't talk like that. <laughs> Who said that? No, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm putting it, but it's your face. I'm like, that ain't my face. <laughs> right, no, nah, but um, yeah, he had inboxed me on Facebook. And so, like, that's how we met. And then. The way I actually like went to the studio the first time was when I was dating Kobe, and Kobe actually tricked me into coming into the studio, and that was Humble. the first time. Lokes low, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that, oh, little puppy love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you as a singer, though, like, what were some singers that you grew up listening to that? Uh, Ali is the number one. Okay. Ali, uh, Janet Jackson. Mary J. Blige, mm-hmm. Erica Badu. Dropping some names people wouldn't know uh, when they drop. Like Amy that. Winehouse. That's, that's very, Amy that's, Winehouse is the truth. She's very goaded. And she's the very truth. not spoke on about so that's, that's her job. That's, that's the job people don't, but a lot of people do. That jazzy shit. A lot mm-hmm. of people don't listen to that. That's yeah. all that is. Yeah. But, but, she's but I got a, a lot of rap influences too, though, even though I don't rap. What's that? Why don't you rap? You think you can rap? One day I'll probably transition. Drop a, drop a, drop One day. You can make a whole so picture house. I can't rap so I used to rap a little bit in high school. I remember I had dropped a diss song Yo, about so. a girl in high school. <laughs> you dropped a diss song? I put, it on, I put it on my Facebook and I did it to the uh, give money that mm-hmm. beat. I That's had it. Oh, shit. What, like how, what people say about it? Did they hear it? They, of course they did. That's I put it on Facebook. I honestly funny. don't remember how that went, but it was not up for long. My mom seen it. Get that shit Mind down. Take that shit down. Yeah, but <coughs> I got off for a little minute, but All right. that's really how that came about. So you linked with Touche, y'all started dropping hooks and shit, right? Yes. Now it's starting to, you know what I'm saying, be out and about. So what was the first joint that you was like, all right, they they rocking with this. They fucking with Dream. this. Dream. Okay. I dream about yeah. the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably that one, or um, I don't, I don't know if that came after or Ball Never Fall. I don't know which one came. You first. was like the hook queen for a minute though. So I not heard but like two summers. summers yeah, sure. you was definitely like the hook queen. Yeah, so, it was cool though. so, so this is like your first time really like putting a lot of music, like putting music out for the so, world, right? Yeah. All right. So, how was that experience? Like your first couple songs and you know what I'm saying that you dropping people mm-hmm. that's playing and yeah. repeating and singing the hooks and um, shit. It's, it's very overwhelming but um, it make I don't know it just reminds me of like how blessed I am and how like it reminds me that I'm doing the right thing you know um, it's cool but at the same time I don't like to settle with where I am. So I'm not really satisfied. So, you know, I'm not I'm never really satisfied with how everything is. So I always want it to be more than what it is. Right. But it's I don't, you know. I ask that because people 
some people make music for years and never get nobody to repeat anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for for like you know what I'm saying for just starting out and then that I shit happens. Your shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is that is you that was like, young? You was young. Yeah, too, so. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like they was playing it at like parties. And I think yeah. the, I think the first time I heard it at a party, I went to a Halloween party like back in like 2017, and they played "Dreaming a, a, a Thousand Ways." Did, I can make a thousand. Yeah, thousand did, did they know it was you <laughs> in the party? Though? Did they, they, they did. did. They oh, actually okay. gave me the mic. The second song. But that was you on Thousand Ways too. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. All the hooks, bro. All the hooks you hear from <laughs> is hers. That's, her. That's what I was telling you. Like, man, she, she was smashing hooks for a nice little minute, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the hooks. Sure. Now she gonna start rapping. Gonna start. Murder, yeah, my that's how, that's how they, that's all they gotta do. That's all she gotta do. I could do it if I wanted to, but I gotta find my tone. It'll be crazy. It'll be crazy. So, all right. After Touche, yeah. What was next? Oh, um, me. Uh, Wachima. Well, Wachima. <laughs> that's who was next. Uh, Wachima. Yeah. Um. Let I us know a little bit more about. What fucking Chima does? Chima, Chima, Chima just popped Chima's up. Amazing. And I just keep hearing his name and then. Chima's amazing. And I didn't know much about Chima. And he be too busy. About he didn't even be polite. But he, he was on this show, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, he Chima, came up here Chima with Chima 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 I met, how did I meet Chima? I met Chima on Facebook once again. Um, but I was, <laughs> I think I had just graduated from Central. Or maybe that was my senior year, junior year. But he had reached out to me because uh, I guess Touche was talking to him about me or something. Or Chug, maybe. Um, and when we did A Girl's Perspective, that was the first time me and Chima worked together for my own So project. did he produce that? He did not. Okay. No, he just shot the video. Oh, he shot the fuck He the shot the video. The fuck this Chima. Okay, okay, yeah, let me <laughs> make sure. I watched that, I said directed by Chima. <laughs> yeah, oh, let me, let me, let me. Chima is an artist himself. He's a videographer, he's a photographer, he's an engineer, and he's a producer. He does all of that shit. Everything you can name it. He can write his own And he hit me up like, like, like we the busy one. I, I, man, I know your schedule's so busy, man. He is a very busy Polite. man. No, this is how he, this is what he said to me. He's humble as fuck. No, he's very yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, he's like, soft spoken. I know, man, can you, can you, can you fit the time in? I'm like, nigga, you on tour with Sammy and who else? Eric Bellinger. Yeah, you out here touring with these niggas and asking me if I, nigga, yeah, I got time tomorrow. Where you at? Well, I'm in Portland on tour. Exactly, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and he loved to do that, but he's very, yeah, he's very sweet, though. Yeah. That's so dope, though, man. Like, I ain't know Chima did all that, man. Like, yeah, but now that's my ace boom mm, now, because yeah, I ain't letting Chima go me. nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my dog. And he, he also, um, he shot Consequences, the uh, whole movie. Damn. Oh, look, look, Chima look, look this nigga help. is a movie maker, too, man. This yep. nigga Chima. Chima's great. As soon as you get off tour, man, come on, tap back in. I know you was on. Oh, I yeah. need to get your Chima's own flowers. Yeah, Chima need his own. I didn't know that. He did. He, did. he, he did. asked for anything. Like he said, right? he was acting like we was too busy. Yeah, like, nigga, I ain't busy. We, <laughs> we can go. We down here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, crazy. Yeah, for real, though. Yeah. So, so shout out to Chima, man. Shout out to Chima. So, mm-hmm. what gave you, like, all right, so, like you said, it was you, so. What made you feel like, all right, you're doing all these hooks. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. I'm going to drop my own project. Like, so what's that process like? Um, well, that was pretty easy for me, honestly. It wasn't hard for me to find people that wanted to work with me. Because, you know, like people like Chima. It's also another dude. Um, he go by Trey J. So shout out to Trey J. Because Trey J, he the one who produced The Girl's Perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, he produced a lot of songs on the album. Like okay. he mixed them and stuff. Um, but um, I write all my own music. So that That's aspect ain't never hard. Um, I'm a visionary. So I know what I want and what I want stuff to look like. And, um, and I ain't afraid to reach out to people. So... Me branching off into, you know, like being like the hood queen, so to speak. Yeah. And then to go into being by myself. I was tired of people asking me when I'm going to do a song with this person and that person. I was getting tired of that, honestly. Um, but I, I've been ready to do stuff on my okay. own. So like, I listen just, to my music, not just yeah. features. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was tired of being in rappers' shadows. I love y'all. But yeah, see, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I love y'all. I, I, was, I was always, you know what, I was always waiting for you to have a verse on the song. 
Yeah, yeah, what, what I was always on the hooks. I yeah, 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 yeah. That's one thing I was looking at. Like, yeah. I, who's gonna? I did them? do a verse on one of on me on one of uh, me and Moose songs. Okay, but the okay. rest was all. They was all yeah, but like when they gonna give her like when, when they gonna start giving her verses? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, about now that changed the game a little bit. Yeah, and at first they they was they wasn't trying to show me credit at first, and that was kind of a issue. You know, I ain't like that. Yeah, he was young. Like, was like, like oh, yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> See, y'all the best because I, 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 I don't care about that. If y'all ask me, y'all paid me to be on this yeah. song, my name should be on there when everybody else's name is on there. Right, so, 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 like, like when Barney and Barney came out, I was mad about that. But uh, I was like, whatever. All right, I got a question. <laughs> Since you're running that type of shit up, like those type of issues. All right, how is it being a female in, in like, Hip hop, rap type of circle that's dominated by males. Like, so how does that work with? I know niggas be trying, right? It's irritating. All that's right, the so that's it, the best word for it. Um, but I feel like a lot of men is intimidated by it. By you? Yeah, but I'm talking about. <laughs> but, I'm talking about but I'm talking about women being in male dominant settings. They intimidated off a rip. Yeah, because y'all like, because y'all surviving. Already. Especially if you good, right? Yeah, yeah. if you if you made it this yeah. far. Um, yeah. and I feel like with me being able to like show that like I'm versatile, so like I can sing on rap hooks and I can sing on like my type of music and I can sing on whatever else I choose to sing on. I you think can sing on, on hood trap. You know, all yeah, that shit. and so you know I just everything. feel like um, damn, I just lost my train of thought. I just I, I don't know. Men like they make it harder than what it has to be, mm -hmm. and. When I, even when I first started doing this shit, like with the hooks and stuff, it was very frustrating, like, you know, working with some men because they want to flirt with you all the time. All the time. They want to shoot they shy, and it's not that. And it was like, very, but it was bars. hard to vocalize it when I was younger because it was easy for them to, you know, look at me, like, look down on me because I was young. I was a minor. Nice, nice. But now I don't, I don't play that shit. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> no. said, hey, hey, I can't make it to the NBA, you don't shoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm not feeling. I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. Boost her confidence, cause like you can tell she got nerve problems, but it's like, it's like it is what it is. Like uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I don't know. So what would be a confidence booster? For like, people who wants to sing who so doesn't hard. have that confidence. That's so hard. I spend a lot of time with myself. That's probably one. <laughs> You, you know, you, you, you know, I was gonna say, you, is you getting me? Myself. Because if you don't like, if you don't know how your presence is different when you walk into a room, then you aren't gonna feel confident about yourself until you figure that shit out. And I am a bit introverted, a bit. I don't really go out much. I don't, period, unless it's for stuff like this. And so, um, otherwise, you know, when I'm chilling, I'm trying to figure myself out, and and I. I, I kind of prepare myself though for situations like this, so I know what to say and how to move and stuff. But I think my confidence just comes from experience, like I kinda told you earlier. Yeah, yeah. It's just the like the Come more I put yourself, myself out there and give yourself confidence. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. So no, I got confidence. In, I was this at your party. I'm at least five years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, which like you said, writing your album was, was easy. Mm -hmm. What made you? Minute, what made you come up with that name? And um, okay, well, a girl's perspective. I wrote that song first, that video that we seen. I, I wrote that first before I even knew what the album was gonna be titled. Oh. Um, I wanted to go based off of that song because the song was like the perfect summary of how an album should start. Mm -hmm. So I thought it should be the introduction to the yeah. album. Um, and like you know, I just wanna be yo. Hey, it just, hey, do that again, do that again, do it again. I just want to be. <laughs> it just that's but like. That's so dope. I wish I could see it. That's how she just did that. She was talking. It was a fucking dope. Damn, <laughs> yeah, that is insane. No, nah, but um, the album the album name came from the song. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be like a reflection of how my love life has been, and I was reflecting on it. And um, most of the songs was like a mixture of. You know, like F boy songs and oh I'm in love songs and then like some bouncy ones and then songs like sit back and relax where I want some of them to be smooth and stuff. Um, it's really just me knowing what I want, so it wasn't hard for me to put it like write it down and stuff. Vibe. The hardest part really was just finding the beats and getting all that shit laid down was the hardest part. Okay. okay. What so your, everything. What was your favorite song on the album? My favorite song on the album. That's very hard. Um, <laughs> 
Mm. It was it was sit back and relax for a good minute. Now it's top two. Top two? Yeah, top two is my favorite. Um, that was I think that was the last song that I wrote for it, and um, that just was like a very like confident song about me like feeling like you know like okay if a nigga don't want me I don't care because you need me you know but, <laughs> you know <laughs> if it don't work out then that's your fault but yeah. that's kind of like how the song was and it was just me being comfortable with my own space and I just felt like it was the best way to close it out so how, how many songs. 12. 12. 12. 12 of them. Yep. It took me about like a year and a half to do the whole album. People don't understand. It really takes time to write music, man. Like, to put together a project, and especially if you want it to be a vibe. A singing project is a whole different process (laughs) than for us as a rapper. Yeah, yeah. I I imagine the, 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 the... the writing of a of an artist, Singing song yeah, it's, a, way it's, yeah it's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. y'all got tunes and keys right. and how right. you want to say it. it ain't right. really about the rhyme. But that's but that's why I love working with Chima though, because it's a lot of stuff that I'm not educated on when it comes to like working with music and like engineering and producer stuff. It's a lot of shit I don't know, and I wasn't trained to be a singer, so yeah. it's a lot of you know like. Music keys and scales and stuff. I don't know nothing about that stuff. Just so she just sing. Yeah. yeah, I just do it. So that's yeah. that's where like Chima come in, and that's why we mesh so good because he know about stuff like that. He play instruments and shit like so. so we learn them we mesh well. Though, yeah, yeah. 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 it's C. easier to make music. Oh. Like, yeah. C. That's not a C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chima, Chima this is a C. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> That's dope. That's yeah. dope as hell. Me and Shima have like sessions at like nine in the morning. Like, uh, like I call him like, did you sleep at the studio? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pull up. Like, it will be like nine a.m. So my nigga Chuck was sleeping in the studio. Yeah. That's Shima. Yeah. What? Shima is the king. That nigga is sleeping in his car. If yeah. he got to. So my nigga Chuck moved to Cali, slept in his car. Yeah. Chima will do that. And worked at Chima the studio. Worked at the anything. studio. Parked outside the studio, slept in shit. Yeah. They start seeing him sleeping and shit. You sleep in the studio. I just know I got a condo. Yeah, it's like in, in Cali, writing yeah. songs. It, like you, but you, you can just what, watch. What's, what's my man's name? And he was like, yeah, you know him. What, Brett Fires. Yeah, Brett yep. Fires. That's mm-hmm. Chuck worked with this nigga I love him. exclusively. Man, this shit is crazy. Bro. Yeah, that shit bad. Man. Like that shit is insane. <laughs> I'm like, bro, but I can't. I don't think I can go to Cali and just like sleep in my car, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's just you gotta do it. We got kids and shit. Hell yeah, yeah that's what kids on you younger than they younger. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm yeah, saying? Shit, yeah, nigga, I ain't living in no damn car. It ain't gotta be that long. You gonna get it in. You don't know how, how bad long. you gonna grind. <laughs> you don't know how long that is. Man. Shit, you gotta take that you. risk though. I feel you. Yeah, high risk, high reward. Right. Yeah, that's what's So. So what's not like? Do you plan to drop more videos off the off the album or? Yeah, I would honestly. I would shoot a video to every song if I could. Yeah, that'd be dope. You should. Um, Why can't you? It's a lot of stuff that I'm working on right now that I can't talk about. Mm, okay. But um, that's just taking up most of my time. But over the summer, I might have a lot more time. So hopefully, I get some more done. Though he said it's next though. I say that. He. He said it's part of the song. Okay. He okay. says the song title. Okay. That's that song you was writing the other day? Nope. Nope. What about that one? What's that? Nah. Uh, that's, that's for the next one. I already finished my next project. Oh, I was going to ask you. Was, so you already got some shit. Look, I did. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you no, I started, I started writing to the next so one. So you was like, that's you got some good. unreleased. That's why she ain't say shit. Yeah, album yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I ain't laid none of it down yet, but I wrote it to all of it yet, though. See, that's done shit. That's yeah, that's done. Right. Yeah. Right. I have a question. How do you Go ahead, baby. Being like in front of people and everybody just looking at you. I have young, but, no, I but, you but I have like, but like I did like grow up performing a lot though, dancing and stuff. I was in beauty pageants when I was little. Then the talent shows and the musicals and stuff. I've always been in people's face. I guess. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I still be nervous though, like before performing, like before the big show. I was scared. I told Mook I didn't even want to do it at first. He asked me at least four times that week. I said, No, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. And I'm like, dang, I'm happy maybe I should. I am too, though. Yeah. It was very fun. Yeah, hey, 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 you gotta step outside your comfort range, man. Yeah. Be ready I for did. Shit. That's why God put it in front of you, because you're ready for it. Mm-hmm. When you start to doubt, that's when you start to fuck up. Yep. That's you know the Amen. Honestly, no, honestly, honestly. Yeah. So, question. I know you work yeah, with sir. a lot of people. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so, Western people in the zoo or 
you know what I'm saying, that you haven't worked with, that you would like to work with. Here? Here. Maybe you should start having niggas featured on your shit and they just dropping verses. Um... Yeah, I I did. I had no features on the album on purpose. That was kind of like to prove a point that, that, that I don't need shit. nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, but I already spoke to some people. But if yeah. I could, somebody from here that did I you haven't spoke. Yet, yeah, did you have it? Mm, talk to him like that. I still good. I still want to make a song with Kurt. I don't know where Kurt being yeah, Kurt yeah, Johnson. Yeah, I still want to make a song with Kurt. Um, I'm trying to think of like rappers. Um, me and Fink already did a song, but I want us to do another one. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't. Facts, facts, facts. To be honest, facts. just being honest. Nah, no, man, no, no. Um, this niggas came up and said they like, hear nobody at all. But like, like I can't think of anybody that I ain't already worked with. <laughs> People yeah. that I already ain't worked with already, it's harder to narrow that down. Facts, you know, facts. Vince, facts. though, Fink, Jr., Chicken. Pretty much everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about little chicken. Yeah, sorry. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, like, Bolo. Yeah, Sid, I do love Sid. Me and Sid. Listen, Sid. But who gonna fucking do the hook? Shit, Bolo. We, we actually. Me and Sid. Nah, nah, who gonna do the hook? Me and Sid actually, we actually like tried. They both gonna do the hook together? together. Like, How that's gonna work? <laughs> it ain't work out. I think it would be able to work. On a hook? We just we just got a You phone think you and Sid can, can split a hook? Hell yeah. yeah or do it together. Yeah, that's what they both oh, said. Both of them. Fuck a verse. Oh, some little John shit. Hell yeah, yeah, some little John shit. Yeah, repeat that bitch the whole time. That'll be crazy. <laughs> that motherfuckers will play it, though. That'll play that that's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, though. That'll play. That'll be dope. That'll be a dope one. That'd be dumb. I'm trying to think of R and B. It ain't a lot of singers. I do want to hear her and Sheena and Pretty Pre together. That'd be dope. I don't know if you know who Sheena is. She be in and out, but <laughs> but really, y'all the only two people that I can that I even put up there in that in that level of mm-hmm. vocalist as in Kalamazoo is just y'all two. I don't think nobody else I can it. can like fuck with y'all in that lane. Honestly, I don't know if y'all know any other girl singers. I do, I, I do know some girls that sing, um, but they may not do as much. Facts, but are, so they, are they as good? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, recording though, I heard now some recording, girls sing. I, now I heard recording. some girls sing live to me, and they sound good, and then they record it. Yeah, when they record right. That is right. Yeah, that's a different situation. Now that's. that's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Recording. I know raw talent, yeah. <laughs> but not but not everybody can go to the studio and and That's not saying. everybody got an ear for music. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I can hear when some shit is off pitch. I know when part of the beat don't sound right. Not everybody can That's dissect nice. that. So. Is that a natural thing? Is that some shit you learn? Probably both. I think you can learn to have a, a ear for music, but I think mine came natural just because I've been listening to music and stuff all my life. Been doing that shit. Yeah. Cause if I if I ain't trained and I don't know how to play the piano or nothing, I gotta at least know how to hear it. Yeah, know? facts. When it comes to you, when it comes to you, definitely in line. Yeah. So shit, like, so would you like? Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting high now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hear four right. bars from your favorite song ever. Like acapella. Just so they know the voices. Um, I gotta think. Oh, Okay, okay, this song is kind of like, okay, so this song is called, I'm going to just break it down. It's called Care Too Much. It's the second to last song off the album. It's a bit singy and rappy mm. to me. Um, shit, how the hell do we start, Naya? Shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yes, I want to know where you at. How the hell you getting back? I'm not ashamed of doing that, no. What percent your phone on? No conclusions would be drawn if I knew what you was on. What you want? Tell me what you want. How you gonna do right by me when everything you do is wrong? I'm just. <laughs> hey, hey, I, it's on the album. Goddamn, y'all gonna take your ass and go, go get the goddamn you know album. <laughs> that live, that live bounce. I wish I could do that shit, man. <laughs> I swear to God. Y'all lucky y'all can He be crazy. saying that. Y'all think he's just saying that shit right now. <laughs> yeah. We be in the shop all the time. He be like, nigga, I think I could do that shit. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Man, if I can see, bro. Man. Uh, 
Alright. What's your favorite like song to like karaoke to? Karaoke. Yeah, like that's the problem. I think I can sound like a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> well, what's your favorite like? Okay, like nineties R and B song to sing. Like, like you'll sing your heart out type shit. That's a lot of them. But when I try to do it, when I try to do it myself, it don't work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't you know, like work. some songs, you can like try to blend in. Yeah, and you can't I can. Hear I, it. Yeah, I can. I think it's a, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. I got a lot of those, and I think I can do. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a lot of those, but but without that, like I don't think I could. Like if I just tried to do my own shit and write it, it like I don't even know how to start. Yeah, that's just crazy. I don't even know how to yeah. even get it to where it need to be. You know, that's just stupid. Go ahead, babe. Since she started, ooh, I like her already. <laughs> Since she started, what was your favorite song and what was your worst song? Of my own? Yep. Yes. My favorite song when I first well, started. Uh, of all time. Of all time. Oh, of all time? Greatest of all no, time. No, since you started and since you, okay, you, know, so, you dropped your last album. You saying greatest of all favorite. time. Yeah. You're talking about my own music. Yeah, yours. Oh, okay. You said greatest of all time. Like, your, okay. your favorite song of all time and your worst okay, song. Okay, my least, my least favorite song was this song called uh, So Wrong. The lyrics was very good. I hated how I sang it. I could right. I couldn't get jiggy yeah, with yeah, it. it to I tried so hard to make myself like <laughs> it. I sent it to other people and they like it. I could not. I couldn't. I couldn't post it. I hated it. And I think I didn't put it on Apple Music for like maybe like a month and I took it off. Couldn't yeah, do it. I was it, too stubborn. It, it didn't come out how you want it. No. Yeah, you heard it. No. I hear it. everything mm-hmm. wrong. And I can't do it. Um, my favorite song though was probably. Dream, I ain't gonna lie. Why Dream, is that? Why is that? because well, for one, that studio session that day was so fun. It was yeah, like I felt very um, welcome. So like when I when I came there that day, and that was the first day I met Mook. Um, and when Touche had me do the, I don't know if you remember the the, the background of it. The money went up. I was so scared to do that. <laughs> I was so scared to do that because I I'm I'm like yelling it mm. and i was i wasn't used to like doing that and stuff but mm-hmm. but when touche had me do it it only took me two times to do it so i was very proud of that song see that's what it was I'm played saying. at all the parties and um i don't know that just was like a song i was proud of though and so that was, was my favorite that was a nice one yeah I, you felt you felt accomplished you. you felt accomplished with that one i did yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, that was my first video too actually first video. <laughs> whenever y'all like y'all first fucking song we be talking to people and they first shit be going that shit yeah. be insane. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's so hard to get your shit going. You know what I'm saying? It be niggas that be wanting to work with you that won't even say nothing to you. You know what I'm I saying? They be scared. So, so what do you say to people like that? You know what I'm saying? Not even that, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to get I'm, on you or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Just I mean, everybody start off musically. Right, yeah. I mean, everybody take their paths on their own time. And I feel like... Uh, if you if you too nervous, you can only be too nervous for so long. So eventually, you gotta take that leap of faith one yeah, day. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell nobody to rush it, but I would say, do it when you're ready. The second you feel ready, that's probably what I say. Yeah, I'm I don't, I don't want nobody to be. Cause you can't be quiet for too long. Can't nobody push you, but you. If you don't take that first step. Yeah, you can look over a ledge all you want. Right. Yeah. I kick your ass. I love you. <laughs> and if somebody push you into it, it may not come off how you facts, want it to. Facts, facts, so facts, you gotta facts, do it facts, when you're ready. So. so you think you're ready to perform in like front of like thousands of people? Yes. If they if they if they if they pay that much to come see me, hell yeah, I want to see them. <laughs> That's how I look at it. If they come to see you anyway, if they come to see me, I want to see them. Yeah. See her that's dope, man. No, it's gonna like, be yeah, I can't wait to like have like a like my own type of like Janet Jackson tour one day. You oh, know, that's like so you talking about dancing the whole I time. Just wanna that talk big shit. To his, what are you talking about that tour? The Velvet Tuck, nah. the Velvet Rope tour, or whatever. More yeah. like the, I like the, more like the Janet tour. I remember I watched that <laughs> shit. The Velvet Rope a bit too sexy. I watched that shit. Yeah, she, man, I remember being that shit came on. And she was special. How the fuck is she? I just want to tell you. She, had she was crawling and shit. I was like, whoa. Yeah, nah. Nigga, she was high age though when she was doing that shit, though. She was high age. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I like it. I like I like I like your vibe though. Your vibe was not yeah, super. Spiky. It ain't too raunchy. Yeah, it I'm not too... throwing pussy at you every day. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Oh. Yeah, I, I like, like a lot of females fall in that lane and then they get stuck in that lane and there's nothing that they Yeah, can and do. I don't wanna um one thing I'm like really big about when I write is I'm very self conscious about not being repetitive. So I don't wanna talk about the same thing in every song. I don't want it to sound the same way, use the same words, nothing like that. So I try as hard as I can to make every song sound different. That's dope. I ain't hear people say that. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't think about that. So I, since she wants so, to tell me things, what's the hardest? You juggle a lot. What's what's the hardest or what? What you like mean? Like the largest period. Like you juggle a lot. You just, just said like fifty things. Probably, probably college. <laughs> college is probably the worst right now. I'm so, I'm so ready to graduate. I got another year though. I'll be done. Um, really just working. So because I work full time at Linden Grove. So me working at a middle school, working at or uh, being in college, and then trying to do music when I'm not doing that is very hard because. Where's the social life at? And yeah. like all the other stuff that I want to do when I'm not at do. work. Yeah. 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 And like I'm not that big of like a social butterfly like that anyway, but the stuff that I would want to do, like take a trip or something. You know, like it's hard take to plan trip. around that. Take a trip. Take a break. Take I'm not good trip. at that though. I like to work. I'm a very busy body. Right. I don't like to do that. But Would I will over summer. Take a break. I will Three days. Summer. I will over summer. A couple days. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Right. I take a lot of like relaxation, you yeah, know, but you days, but I don't take no trips though. Yeah, you got to be in bed. Yeah, that don't count. Take a day off and just stay <laughs> in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in bed. I'll be yeah, reading. Man, I'll be writing. I'll be chilling. <laughs> what do you think we talk about no middle school and shit? The kids, <laughs> goddammit. That's the worst. No. Yeah, it is. The kids. You did it with kids? Oh, I guess. It's not even the kids to me. Like, no. No, man. We ain't finna be talking about her job. Yeah, like no, 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 no. Like, we don't want to. Yeah. Like, no, we, we ain't talking about no jobs. We smoking. <laughs> shit. I'm gonna get me fired. I don't. I ain't working in school. Well, I've been working with kids since I was 16. And my mom is an educator, so I love kids. I said about being a teacher. You're the teacher. No, I, a, no I'm not a teacher. teacher. I'm a secretary. Oh. Um, but I have been an assistant teacher. I've been a tutor, a mentor, all of that stuff. Um, but before singing question. and stuff, I wanted to be a teacher when I, when I grew up. I did. No, I would do it. You got to have patience. You got to have a lot of patience. Yeah, if my mom could Especially do it, as other people oh. kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it. Easy. And, no, like for real though, because kids. Not yeah. the kids. Kids love you. It's nothing. It's a cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cake. No, I mean, some of them is very challenging, but I don't. That's nothing. So, do you got the uh, you got the first single picked off for the next album? For the album? You said the album done. I know you got something that you want to leave with. I don't. What? I won't know what singles I like. I know which ones I'm going to. But I could like them now when they're written, but when I go and do them, I like. I might like one more than the How other. You hear it? Yeah, because I might arrange it different than what I thought in my head, and then I might like it better than what I thought I was gonna like. So I really don't know. When you plan, on, when you plan on start working on it? Well, yeah. since well since it's written now, I, I well my process is like I want to write all. Of yeah, what's the process for for you? I like to write first. But the whole the whole the whole bitch. Well, if I got beat. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'm taking a little different leap of faith with this one, though, because I wrote most of them without beats first. Ooh, and the, yeah. Second person I heard do that. But, wow. I, but I'm the only. I usually I usually can't write without a beat. Without but I start beat? I started writing. Yeah. Well, I started off writing poetry because I want to I want to publish a poetry book one day and title it after the album. So how do you but, find a beat? Well, when I find the beat, well, you just go through the songs that you already have written and you, you sing it along with the beat and see if it just works together. See if it go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So really, I just, I want to find all of the beats first before I just start laying stuff down. But the ones that I do, do got ready, I lay them down though. That's hard to so, do. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Like, so you just find a beat and sing your shit over the beat and when that bitch matches? Or yeah. You, <laughs> they might have to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah right. sometimes like, I gotta switch some words around. See, I'm too stubborn something. with to, to to do the switch up. Oh yeah, don't check that phone. That's weird. No oh, man, keep vibrating. Bad, man. Look, tap that phone. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it was dead. Yeah. Was bad. All right. Nice. So shit. So. Let's say how far are we. It's we finna, we finna okay, get. So we got fifty five. Yeah, we figure it close it off. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't rushing. Out. I promise. I was just curious. Close it out. I was just gonna ask, like, so what's next? Like, after after these projects, like, do you do you 
think you finna pursue acting more? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it gonna be like with your videos? You said you would like dance here. Or is it really gonna put court more choreograph shit in your videos? I wanna do everything, and I used to choreograph in high school, so I would love to like choreograph my own stuff one day. You think there's enough dancers around? Or? I don't need a, I don't need a lot of dancers. Oh, okay. <laughs> the same good. Four or five of them. That's all. I, I, I make sense. Yeah, yeah, really, real, real. That's all I need. A couple know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, real, 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 real. <laughs> Um, but I do, I do want to act more for sure. I kind of want to dedicate my summer into like you know, if I do go on trips, I want to like find like more auditions to go to, cast and calls or something. Um, work, work, workcation. Not a, not work. A I'm, no. I don't know what that is. I don't know what vacation is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um no, but I, I want to do everything still. Um. I want to do some different stuff, though. I don't know what yet, but of course I'm going to still do music and write. And I might write for other people. I do want to write for other people one day, like other females one day, maybe in other states and stuff. Uh, go ahead, babe. No, I'm oh. talking about you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I was going to say, I love to like write in general, even if it's not for me. And sometimes I write better for other people than I do for myself. Yeah, because so. you just stay vibe with you. Right. Yeah. So I do everything. Maybe rap. Who knows? She rap. <laughs> I can probably rap something. Yeah, I think you should rap. <laughs> I, so, gotta find, I gotta figure out my tone, though. So if anybody want to get a hold of you or they want to contact you, how can they, how can they get a hold of you? Um, All of my socials is Anaya underscore Lachelle, A-N-A-I-A underscore L-A-C-H-E-L-L-E. Uh, all of my uh, links and stuff is attached to all my social media. So like my emails and stuff, all my personal stuff, you can hit me up on here. That's really it. Yeah. I'm chilling. I'll play. Yeah. One more question. You charging Yo. for features on you? Hell yeah, I'm charging for features. Yeah, yeah. What did the Joker say in the Dark Knight? That's if you if you're good at something, never do it for free. Facts. Facts. Hell I yeah, I'm right. All right, so don't hit hey, the so inbox, sure y'all bro. Come with a budget. <laughs> yeah, got your shit together. It's yeah. episode 61, Smoke Session with Squirrel. Shout out our sponsors, Apple Sky Farms. We ain't got none of this shit up here. Nope, so look. Man. Hey, shout out our sponsors, man. I showed the grabber. <laughs> I was looking hey, down. That's an apple sky. Was, there we go. Oh, that's man. what we got. We smoked some of that shit. Yeah, yeah. shit gone. Hey, man, we out of here, man. Appreciate y'all. Yay.